Since the last time we reviewed Zeus, some things have changed. Notably, the biggest one is that the TP boots and the scroll are no longer separate cooldowns and the XP talent has been removed. This both reduces Zeus's near late game's map presence and increases the time to even get there. So these changes have been hindering Zeus for a bit, but nowadays, with the return of the late game carries in the meta, Zeus pairs well with most of them, providing early game space and the late game map presence, although a bit diminished. And the laning phase has seen some changes too. Most players these days opt for the Arc Lightning build, which massively improves the way Zeus can rotate lane to jungle, matching the likes of someone like Necro and Storm. Naturally, if an opposing mid laner is someone you can drive out purely through spells, maxing the bolt and ruining your opponent's day is still a valid option. However, in this matchup, I've played against an Underlord, and while he would make a good piñata for my spells, he also poses zero lane threat to me, which means I can instead supercharge my own farm rather than focusing on interrupting his. So the laning phase goes as follows, priority on last hitting what we can with the right clicks, sniping the rest with the arc lightning and mixing in an odd denier too. Because Underlord has a very clear pattern of when he's using his vape clear, we can easily fit in uninterrupted clarities into the rotation, improving our mana capabilities significantly. For the majority of the laning phase, I will look for opportunities to stack the small camp and then track the incoming enemy creeps nearby to make myself essentially a triple stack of farm. This strategy is fairly easy to execute against anyone that doesn't want to trade with Zeus and instead would want to just push and leave. Against more aggressive mids, we would use less clarities, keep our range, but maintain the stacking part all the same, except instead of dragging the enemy creeps with us, we'll be nuking them first to keep the opponent busy. Level 6 onwards, we'll let our teammates know that the ultimate is ready to use at any time and that they should try to play more aggressively. Making kills with the ult remains absolutely okay, because you speed up your first item and the teammates in the vicinity of the kill still get their assist gold and experience. And as so, as long as the mid tower stands, that is where I'll be stationed until my agonims. It is nearly impossible to take down a tower Zeus is protecting, so unless your sides lost hard and the enemy can afford to just group down middle, there is a good chance that the mid lane will continue to be a steady source of income right up until the agonims pick up. In an average match where the mid laner isn't aggressively hunting you down, null null arcane intimization and clarities should be enough of a source of constant mana to let you just farm farm and farm until something of an around 15 min eggs. From that point onwards, we can begin moving with the team. The stats from Aghanims makes us reasonably tanky for the mid game, and the threat of Nimbus will scare a good majority of enemy heroes away. So, it makes the most sense for your entire team to move as a unit, with the possible exception of your carry, to systematically take down the remaining outer towers with the advantage that Zeus provides.
radiant shape problems. Naturally, Zeus still remains one of the weakest heroes in the game in regards to defense, so unless you're super ahead, you still shouldn't YOLO around and try to maintain your range behind the team. Next item, Aether, will massively help in that regard. If you however can get jumped anyway, Yules is also a natural choice. After you take care of defenses, if you needed any, you can continue building up the potential of your spells. I myself enjoy rushing Actarine first, this gives me immense map presence, especially when coupled with a level 20 cooldown reduction talent, which should hopefully be ready with the Actarine. This massively increases user's utility on the map, you can scout more often with the ult, you can safely de-push waves with Nimbus, and you can more often travel everywhere else as needed with the boots. This is however my personal choice, and another player might choose to build a more of a teamfight oriented Zeus with perhaps a blink, a Kaya and a Ministan talent. Regardless of your build, the mid to late game objective remains the same, enable your other cores. With the utility Zeus provides, both inside and outside of combat, you're looking to establish as much map control as possible. And unless some throws happen around, usually with the map control comes the space advantage, the space advantage comes the farm advantage, and if the opponents can't turn the status around, they eventually lose. And this match is a great illustration of the topic. By now, I think I've listed all the key points for Zeus, it is time to let the gameplay do the talking. Leaving you with the rest of the match, thank you for watching, good luck!
Radiance middle radiance. 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 Radiance.